Thomas and the Leprechaun. It was a bright, breezy spring day on the island of Sodor. There was a beautiful rainbow in the sky, and Thomas was on his way to pick up his first delivery. Just as he was about to pull into the station, Thomas thought he saw something unusual. It looked like a little man dressed in green running behind a building. Thomas stopped beside Emily. He was going to ask her if she'd seen the man too, when the fat controller greeted the engines. Good morning, he said. Today is a very special day. It is St. Patrick's Day. I need all my engines to make deliveries to the celebration. You should get your work done early today, Thomas, James teased. Then maybe you'll have time to search for the leprechaun's gold. Thomas didn't know what James was talking about. The leprechaun's gold is a St. Patrick's Day legend, Emily explained. They say a little man dressed in green hides his treasure at the end of the rainbow. Anyone who finds it is very lucky. Thomas set out for his pickup, but he couldn't stop thinking about the leprechaun he might have seen. Thomas hoped he'd see the man in green again. Thomas worked hard all morning making his deliveries. After his final drop-off, Thomas got his wish. He saw a flash of green behind a tree before it disappeared. Thomas hurried around the bend. Behind the tree, he did find something green. It was Percy. Thomas, I'm so glad you're here, Percy peeped. He had derailed going around the bend too fast. I was supposed to pick up the St. Patrick's Day soda bread from the bakery. Thomas loved to help his friends. As Thomas set off toward the bakery, he wondered if he'd seen the leprechaun at all. At the bakery, Thomas looked up at the sky and saw another rainbow. It was even bigger and brighter than the one that morning. After dropping off the soda bread, Thomas decided to follow the rainbow. As he chugged up a big hill, Thomas saw a golden gleam just over the horizon. Could it be? he wondered. But it was only Rebecca. Her freshly washed yellow paint was shining in the sun. The washdown took ages this morning, Rebecca said. I'm supposed to pick up the green St. Patrick's Day costumes at the tailor, but I'm way behind. Thomas offered to help. As he was leaving the tailor's shop, Thomas saw the man in green running in the same direction he needed to go. This was his chance. He would follow the leprechaun to the treasure. Thomas tried to catch up, but the leprechaun was gone. The only one around was Emily. Thomas! Emily exclaimed. The Irish dancers are here early. Someone needs to pick them up at the docks. Thomas wanted to look for the leprechaun, but he volunteered to help. Thomas dropped off the green costumes and the Irish dancers for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Finally, everything was where it should be. He looked up and saw the rainbow again. It was arching down right at the end of his branch line. Thomas was about to take off toward the rainbow when the fat controller came running up to him. Our guest of honour got lost on his way to the parade, the fat controller cried. Thomas, I need you to pick him up. Thomas was disappointed to leave the rainbow behind, but he wanted to help the fat controller and the guest of honour. When Thomas arrived to pick up the guest, he couldn't believe his eyes. Standing on the platform was the man in green he had been chasing all day. 
Are you a leprechaun? Thomas asked. I am today, the man replied. I'm playing the leprechaun in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. I thought I would explore the island before it started, but I got lost. Thank you for helping me. Everyone cheered when Thomas delivered the special guest to the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Thomas didn't find the leprechaun or gold that day. But celebrating with friends was the best treasure.